What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to some Astroneer. Uh, as you see, I just couldn't resist. I came back over to Treeville here and loaded up on research, but more importantly, I've got myself some ammonium, which ammonium is the material that's going to be required to make the hydrazine canisters with that hydrazine catalyzer that I have made. Now I'm hoping with all this research that the fuel condenser is going to unlock and the fuel condenser is where I can just get the continuous hydrazine production going um, at the expense of power which with uh, pretty much unlimited wind and solar power now with multiple batteries I'm definitely not sweating the power situation right now and another thing to be said about this treed in area over here is although see there's more hydrazine right there I wish I could take some more with me but I just I'm out out of space no more can be done uh, anyway what I was saying is although I have pretty much stripped the land over here as far as research goes uh, this is it's got to be close to like I don't know maybe 75 80 research items that have been picked from this like you know square kilometer or so right here and oh man let me tell you I've stripped it clean however I have barely touched the resources so there's just a ton of hydrazine in the ground there's a ton of resin there's a ton of compound there's actually a ton of aluminum and uh, copper that's really close to the surface like practically peeking out of caves so um, it's definitely gonna be in my best interest to remember to go towards the red one there actually it turned purple now anyway to go towards uh, the purple one <laughs> when it is time for a little bit more uh, just natural resource collection so let's go ahead and just park right in front of our research station uh, I do want to I'm anxious to see what the exchange rate is in this hydrazine catalyzer though so first things first, let's head over to it. And let's see, let's get the ammonium in there. And I'm assuming it's gonna be one to one. Oh, I need blank, I need empty canisters. All right, so here's where the need for massive resin comes back into play. I've gotta make four canisters here. Let's see, let's put that there. Where are you at? Canister. I gotta make four of these bad boys. I'm assuming it's gonna be one to one. Now I can empty these canisters right away and reuse them, which is good. Let's see, let's get the four canisters on there. There we go, and it looks like it's ready to go now. Let's check this bad boy out in operation. Now I did play around with this at the end of my other playthrough to get enough hydrazine to blow it up. And I definitely found that although this one is way, way quicker, um, it doesn't give you the amount of hydrazine that you get out of the continuous operation. However, there's four hydrazine canisters. That is actually probably enough to take off and land somewhere else but just to be safe I'm gonna make sure I am like completely squared away I'm gonna have a full tank plus I'm gonna have spare hydrazine with me uh, when I do decide to take off actually that was all four of them it got it looks like about a third of the way full so that's not too bad let me go ahead and throw these empties back Well, let me just stick the empties right here until we get the necessary. Oh, well, there we go. All it took was one to open up the canisters. Anyway, here we go. Research Central. Let's get it done. So let me pull up a little bit closer and see if I can't double dip on some of the power here. I got a solar panel there. When the sun comes up, I want to be able to use it. Hopefully I get another research item and not just all uh, compound and 
resin and whatnot. I mean, I'm going to use all that stuff, but, you know. I mean, I hauled all this stuff back for a reason, and it wasn't for more compounded resin. It was for copper. There we go. I didn't have a full load. I was missing a couple... I could have hauled back a couple more pieces of research, but I was impatient once I found that hydrazine. I, I have yet to consult the wiki on this playthrough, and I know things have changed, and I'm wondering if I need to consult the wiki. Oh, wow. Huh. Here's some ammonium right there. Well, I'm getting lots more compound for more storage units. I'm just, I'm wondering if some of the research is like gated behind a particular milestone in the game or if some of the research items just come from a different pod. Like I'm anxious to see what we get out of this one because I haven't brought many of those back. I'm actually hoping it's the oxygen tank. That would be just awesome. It's not, it's more compound. It's a bit of a crapshoot at this point, I believe. Looks like I may need another uh, wind going over here. Getting lots of copper and whatnot, so... I just am betting that I'm going to just have terrible luck. Oh, we lost the juice. No juice is no good. All right, well, I could collect up some organics real quick, or I could just kind of chillax and wait for the sun to come up, or the wind. A little wind would be fine, too. In fact, let me go ahead and get another, uh, let's get another wind turbine going. Come on, just start spinning right there, would you? Mm, no such luck. I want to put a wind turbine. Oh, it's spinning over here, though. Let's see. Sorry, Solar. You're out. <laughs> there we go. Get a little bit more power going. Where do I want to put this solar panel? i got to have an empty spot for it somewhere. How about right there for now? And that should be charging me back up, indeed. It's still going. That's a good thing. I have a couple more research items to go yet. It looks like I'm just going to get resources the whole time, though. Which, I mean, like I said, it's saving me the hassle of going and mining all that stuff up. But, I would much rather see some actual research. Let me f grab a couple of organics. Do I have any on me? I do not. Let's grab the organics. Why is none of this giving me any of the organics? There we go. Come on, little leaves. You can come. There we go. There's two of them. That'll get both of those uh, little mini generators supplied anyway. And, and now, just in time, the sun comes up. <laughs> Figures. More aluminum. Yeah, it looks like um, oxygen in the little small battery is really what I'd like to get. Now, I am willing to go to another planet and grab some research from another planet to maybe test or I don't know if I'm just hitting the end of the RNG it, you know I don't know and uh, like I said I've yet to consult the wiki I'm trying not to oh here we go fuel condenser nice that's what I wanted I'm gonna get that bad boy made right away as that thing is just awesome. I don't even care. 
I don't even care about you, copper. I'm all stoked by the fuel condenser. That needs two copper. I just happen to have uh, made a substantial amount of copper right here. Now the deal with the fuel condenser is you have to have a bunch of empty canisters. If you have a bunch of empty canisters there, it's just going to continually produce fuel. Like let's uh Let's just throw these four. Come on. All right. Now it's very, very slow. It takes several uh, full drains of power to create just one canister. As you see how slow that can is filling up there, the empty canister up top. It, uh... I don't even know how many it takes. It takes quite a few... Uh, full bars of power. However, when I'm off running around, it's going to automatically swap these out and fill all of these canisters. So ideally, I want a ton of resin right now, and I want this thing just running. And that is basically going to give me essentially an unlimited supply of, uh, of hydrazine fuel. There's two more resin there. I think I might uh, actually go on a resin hunt. Let's see, let's make a couple more cans. In fact, I may even sacrifice my canisters that are in my in my tool right now. Let's see, there's two more. Like I said, it, it will go through and fill every one of these. Let's make sure we got an empty inventory for them to go. Let's put that in there. Do I want to sacrifice my other canisters? I'm pretty tempted to. Let's do it. That's going to be a bunch of hydrazine right there that just runs. Now I wanted to let it get to one being full but it may take a couple more uh, complete cycles of power here and uh, like I said with two batteries I'm not really overly concerned about the power use because these two batteries are going to fill up every single night uh, I've got multiple solars, uh, multiple wind going now so I, you know and then I've got the emergency organic backup just in case but I want to see this thing go gonna take I bet it'll take one more cycle of power after this one well that's getting pretty full uh, I don't know if it's full all the way though let this power fill back up and then uh, let it do its thing Hmm. Now, why is it not just running? Maybe there's something I need to figure out here. Before it was auto swapping these things, I'm going to let that run uh, for one more. I'll just uh, do a little bit more organizing here while I wait. Just go ahead and get that stuff processed. You know, if I had some resin close by, I could make some more resin out of just the dirt that's in there right now. I guess I could fill that bad boy back up with dirt while I'm waiting. <laughs> Oop. Oh, I sacrificed the canisters. Dang it, that's right. I gotta grab at least one of these empties. Gotta have something to put it in, you know? going one at a time. It's going to be a slow rolling process here, but man, I've got to fill this hole soon. 
I'll do it offline. I won't bore you guys with, uh... I mean, I'm not actually going to fill the hole. I'm just going to use the smooth tool over the top of it. See, we should be getting pretty close here. Yeah, there's that compound deposit down there. Alright, so that one's full. How's it coming? Actually, it's full, or it's almost full up again. I'm not sure if there's something I need to do to make this automate, but I know it automates and just runs. I've seen it go before. Hmm. Doesn't look like it's going to swap. It was pretty OP. Maybe it's been turned off. You wouldn't think it would. That was like one of the big selling points of it. Now it's really slow, of course, in comparison. Yeah, it's not doing its thing right now. Like I said, though, my last playthrough, right at the end, um, when I was trying to create all that hydrazine for the big, the big boom boom, I was using the fuel condenser, and it was just swapping the cans automatically. So maybe I do need to consult the wiki. I didn't want to do it, but I think I just might have to. Anyway, I'm going to let that stuff go. Let me grab these and throw them on in. Uh, see what this does for the old spaceship situation. It's definitely filling it up. What do we have here? We got some power. Let's just leave that power behind. Let's put these empty canisters back over here where I like them. And then... Pop this other one. Oop, that was my... My mouse was wigging on me. Or my keyboard or something. I just updated my USB drivers again and it's still just acting funny. And then I've got the, you know, of course I don't have a supply of coal now. Now if I had a supply of coal, and I will get lots of coal when I go to other planets, uh, I could throw that medium generator down somewhere and just go ham. I kind of want a resin. I want to make more and more and more. Never enough. So it may be just time to grab all of these empty storages and just go and fill up with resin compound and any hydrazine I can find. And, uh, you know, just kind of do a supply run. I got plenty of room here. I still, I would love to get that silly battery unlocked. And now let me look and just make sure nothing else auto unlocked. Narrow mod, wide mod, inhibitor, terrain analyzer, dynamite. No, nope. all right, so I just don't have it. Tell you what I can do is a quick trip down into the cave. I do have some tethers. Um, what do I even need to get? I think I, what I need is hydrazine, maybe. And uh, I can see what I can find just that's above ground right here. Or not above ground, but convenient. If I, if I can just find something conveniently located. Now I'm going to pass up. I think I'm going to pass up on all of the copper and aluminum for now. Oh, wow. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, I guess I never took all this research back up out of here. That's convenient. Uh, lucky score there. A little, uh, a little, a little derpage for the win. I got three free research that I didn't even realize I had. Gotta love it. 
I should have brought the vehicle over for this, huh? If I would have only known that all this research was going to be just kicking it here. I was ready to do some cave exploring, too. It looks like, uh... No exploration required quite yet. I'm good to go. Aluminum, I'll take it. Or I'll throw it on the ground. One of the two. Where'd it go? Did I throw it through the ground? I think it may have fell through the world. I'm not positive. Oh, no. There it is right there. Let's just... Oh. Dang it. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? There we go. Let's throw the solar back on here. Let's throw that back on here. Got to be a quicker way. I should have brought the vehicle. I keep saying that. And then I don't do it. It's alright. Let's head on down. Where was it? It was over here. I'll do some uh, little mini traverses here just to get them all up top. I've only got two more that are sitting here. I'm assuming there's probably a lot more low-hanging fruit in the research department. Let's see. Let's just drop that right there. Grab this other one. Boy, as, these, as large as these objects are, you can just heave them around. Thank God for uh, low gravity or whatever the situation is here. Let's see. Let's drop that one there. Can I reach it? Oh, yeah. Very nice. All right. So two more research ready to go. I'll walk them over. <laughs> Actually, I can stick that one right there, and I don't have to worry about it falling through the world. That's uh, looking a little stormy. I better take cover here pretty dang quick, in fact. Oh, man. Uh, come on. You can do it. Don't hit me with a big rock. Oh, yeah. It's rolling in. Good timing on uh, the bailing there, that's for sure. I'll have to see, is that research going to blow away? I don't think it will. I think it's going to stay right there. Looks like it's going to anyway. Those little boulders hit you, of course, and it is death. So this is one of the stronger storms where it's got the airborne death just rolling around. At least it's got my uh, my wind pumping out. Actually, I'm, my batteries are all full, it looks like. Come on, storm, pass, would you? Can't see in any direction. There we go, starting to clear out now. Come on, sunshine. Alright, that's good enough. I don't think I have, uh, death is not imminent anymore, so. Let's see. Am I going to get lucky and get another actual research item? Well, here's some ti more titanium. I'm certainly not going to complain about that. Now, of course, when I get to another planet, if I go to that irradiated planet and set up a mining operation, which that is probably where my first uh, off-world mining operation will be. I'll have massive amounts of uh, titanium and lithium. Well, there's another ammonium. I'm going to take it and not complain, as that is three more hydrazine ready to go. Anyway, good stuff. So that is actually going to do it for this episode. I guess next episode... I'll get down to doing some more cave exploration. Uh, I'll try to figure out why the fuel condenser is not just running. I wonder if the canisters need to be on a different side. Nah, it doesn't appear to matter. 
It's just not going. It's not auto-ejecting, and that's what I need it to do. But uh, anyway, that will do it for now, though. Thank you once again. Um, I will be back soon with more Astroneer. Take it easy.